Automation Direct Model GS2-21PO Triple Speed Drive One of the things that attracted me to this drive was the fact that the head is remotely mountable, so it can be totally remoted. And that can be relocated on the lathe if I wish, or leave it in the unit. Yeah. As I was saying, and I might have to edit this out, and I, like I mentioned, I am learning. So this is the new motor, it's a Baldor three-phase, uh, one horsepower. Uh, the old motor, you can just see in the, in the, in the picture uh, at the back there, that was a one horsepower, uh, 120 volt uh, single phase. I think it might be 120, 240 volt single phase. So right now, I, I'm gonna be bringing in 240 volt to the, the lathe, using the adjustable speed drive to give me both the, variable speed and to give me three phase power and in the three phase uh, uh, motor here, the Baldwin motor will be running the unit. And uh, also as I mentioned, I do tin all my connections are soldered. So I will solder them and tin them. So that's what I'm going to do next and I'll do that off camera. Okay, this is the smoke test. This is the first time I'm going to power up. I'll plug in the uh, automation direct one horsepower, three phase, single phase with three phase variables, things you drive. And I'm going to plug it in now and see if we got spark. Ah, okay, we've got something here on the screen. And I'm going to hit the run button and see if the motor starts to turn. It's turning. And I think that's the frequency. Oh, isn't that slick? Is that slick or is that slick? All the wiring is complete. I used uh, uh, 14 gauge wire. I don't think I needed to use 14 gauge. Uh, the wire going from the adjustable speed drive to the motor is four conductor 14 gauge. I probably could, could have gone around uh, away with the uh, uh, 16 gauge wire very, very nicely. Uh, however, I didn't. I went to the 14 gauge and uh, yeah, quite happy with it. Wow, i just really impressed with this. Very impressed. Now let's just do forward and reverse. Wow, this is just so slick. This is just so slick. Yeah, Blue Hands, whatever your your website was, I forget. It, uh, hey, I owe you a thousand thank yous for this. I am so happy with this. The next step is going to be mounting it onto the lathe. It's a Jet uh, 1024 lathe and I'll be mounting it onto the lathe. Thank you.